Good morning. Day three. Oh dear. Good morning. Day three. Half past eight in the morning. Just leaving the bunk barn. We've got mist, drizzle, wind. So yeah, I'm glad I'm not camping. <laughs> two lovely Australian women last night that were that are doing the coast to coast. Uh, doing a nice chat. No service still. But yeah. They're walking to Reith today. I'm going to uh, what's it called? Grinton. We should just pass Reith. But I think our tracks are slightly different. later. drizzle and a bit of hills. <laughs> okay, so that was a well placed derelict tractor. This, uh, when I stopped taking a photo I checked my maps and this is where I go up and not down that path. Apparently this is Crack Pot Hall. If you can have a look around the back. Stuff. I don't know, pens I guess, maybe dips here, yeah, like sealed off a hole there. Uh, a couple of empty rooms, no roofs, and I'm off this way. Pick my path up again. I started following this trail, which I think is actually, without checking your map, it's actually a sheep trail. Sort of disappears around the corner there, and it uh, actually gets quite steep and very narrow. And of course, it's been raining, and there's grass, and it's just like I think it's too dangerous. So, I'm going to backtrack and see if I can pick up my track that I'm supposed to be on. All right, found the track I'm supposed to be on. <laughs> Just climb a really stiff embankment to get here. But anyway, I'm on the right track now. Half a sten, look at it. It's just getting thicker. Still no service. Ugh, gotta go over these stones. I think the trail goes up there and around. Oh, I'm not keen on this in the wet. God, that trail was awful. I just walked down there. Made a point of not looking down because there's a sheer drop on one side. Ugh. Hopefully, that's the last of the sheer drops. Ugh. Waterfall over there. And the land that time forgot. Just uh, expecting a raptor to jump out of somewhere. <laughs> right, Swinner Gill. Lead mines. I'm going to see if I can find a shelter spot and have a cup of tea. And we're following the Yellow Road. Should be coming to Gunnerside Gill soon. Been here before. It was a bit steep to come down. All loose rocks and yeah, not that pleasant. 
bit hard trying to choose what there's like when you get to a certain point there's like three ways out who which one is better is beyond a joke anyway oh can't be far off Gunnerside now by the way I came down the wrong track again I'm just hoping it doesn't get too steep uh, it's pretty wet and slippery but uh, it's all a long way to climb back up I'll see when I get around the corner I think it's uh, we're a camp that time I'll get some shelter down there and have some lunch. Well, the path, see that flat rock? The path goes over that flat rock. Um, and out of a rock there. And uh, that's a big bit. There's a little bit around the back of it. And uh, basically, it was scary as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. What do I get myself into? Well, hopefully, the path, although it looks narrow, won't be too bad. Right, so basically I'm having a bite to eat here and I've made a decision. I'm a bit tired of these uh, goat tracks in this weather. It's still drizzling. I think because of this one I'm going to go down there and I cross over and then I join the track on that side up there and I think that's possibly like more like a bridal way but I don't want to risk it. Um, <laughs> I've had some scary moments today. <laughs> so I'm going to walk down back into Gun uh, Gunside and I'm going to walk along the river. There's a track, track along the side of the river. It'll take me into Reef. But I'm not exactly doing the whole James Harriet way, I'm afraid, but that's um, due to, I mean, you know, I'm, I haven't got the best knees as it is. And these are slippy goat trails on sheer, sheer drops I'm just I'm not doing it today so I'm going to walk into Gunnerside then I'm going to walk along the river um it takes you into and it takes me into reef and then I walk down to the youth hostel still a good few miles so I can always come back and do that se this section because I've been up here before walking a nice sunny day it'd be fine not on a wet drizzly day eating, getting the gun aside, might find some shelter and brew up, it's not that sheltered here either. Okay, catch you later. Just not stop raining, still working my way back to gun aside, town, oh, at least at the moment there's not as much wind. Someone's coming along here in a Land Rover. Hitch a ride back. <laughs> oh, I see the road goes up into that direction. Still got probably a mile or so to go before I get to before I get to Gunnerside. You guys are going to be. I will not believe this, right? Unforeseen circumstances, they had to change my, I was down to stay in a dorm, yeah? And I've now had to put me in a private room with supposedly en suite. No, that's a cupboard, it's en suite, so I don't know where the en suite is. Must be outside. Oh, we've got the turrets of the castle. Nine quid. Nine quid! Oh, I couldn't be bloody happier. Oh, miserable day. Holy fuck. This is my bathroom. The bedroom's down underneath. Got to uh, guess what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the bedroom's downstairs, and this is my bathroom. That's pretty. 
I have the whole tower to myself. Oh, I can't say they can to any more deserving person than me. Anyway, I've uh, just um, got out of that lovely bathtub. I shall have a shower later on and wash me hair. I just had a nice soak. I'm quite tired, a bit hungry, so I shall do showering later. <laughs> oh, I needed this, I tell you. Anyway, I'll just update you on today. So, with the way the weather was, I decided to go back into to get out of the gully, the gill there, and go into Gunners, Gunners Lake, isn't it? Yeah, Gunners Lake, I think it's called. Gunners side, Gunners side. I don't know. Yeah, Gunners Lake's down in Cool. Anyway, <laughs> just knackered. Um, I'm just sitting in my window ledge here, <laughs> looking out of my tower. <laughs> yeah, so I went in and then I just thought, God, my feet were soaking and they were aching by this point. So I thought, oh, I'll get him, I'll get him. I was going to walk down the uh, the river, wasn't I? And I thought, no, it's, my feet are aching. So I'll get the bus to Wreath. So I went and stood at the bus stop as such. And I stood there for over an hour and a half and the bus never came. And I thought, this is getting on nearly half past four now. I thought, oh, I don't know if this bus is going to come or not, you know, because they they're not frequent buses anyway. I don't know if there was going to be another one. I had no um, service, so I couldn't look anything up online. So I thought, what can I do? Even I couldn't even find a taxi service because basically I couldn't look anything up. So I thought, I'm going to have to hitchhike. So I stuck my thumb out. The first car that came past stopped and picked me up. And I was just going to come go to Wreath and then walk back down, walk back down, should I say, up to um, Greenton Lodge where I'm staying. And um, it turns out this person was staying in Grinton anyway. So about half a mile from the hostel. So he um, parked up and I uh, walked up to the hostel. It was all uphill. It was a bit of a bit of a shock to the system. There's a quite a steep hill coming up. About half a mile. So anyway, so I got up here. I'm damp, knackered, blah blah blah. And I say, oh well, you know, we've, we've, there was some issues in that we've had to um reallocate you and we've given you a private room with an ensuite. And I'm like Yes, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> And so I come up here, found the room, I said, where's the ensuite? So I went back down and said, yeah, got, I've got the room, but where's the ensuite? And, he said, and the bloke says, go upstairs. And I said, oh, I thought that was another room upstairs. And he says, just go upstairs and have a look. So I said, okay. So then we went back and then went upstairs. And obviously, you've see, you seen the video, it's gobsmacked. So anyway, I've had a really big bath. And... Um, just gonna have a cup of tea and uh, and I actually bumped into someone in Gunnerside that um, I used to work with, and by chance he's staying at this hostel. <laughs> I was just like what? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to have to have a cup of tea, and then I might have to do some socialising. Maybe I don't know. We'll see.